pros and cons of push to connect fittings. In this video, I'm gonna tell you what push to connect fittings are really good, which ones we've had problems with, but I'm gonna tell you a lot of plumbers are going to these these days. Now, if you're a homeowner, the good thing about these, this is something that you may be able to use to fix your own problem. So make sure you hang around and check it out so you'll know what to look for. And stay till the end and I'll give you the biggest reason that I think you should all have quick fitting on your van. Now this video is sponsored by Quick Fitting. They reached out to us and said, look, we're a push to connect fitting and we'd like for you to talk about us. I said, I'm sorry, I don't do push to connect fittings because of the other brand. Well, they said we're not like the other brand. They sent me up to Providence, Rhode Island. I went through testing and I gotta tell you, they blew me away. So go to quickfitting.com and check out all they have to offer. Now plumbers these days are getting to where, well, they're trying to save labor and it makes sense. Materials are going up, labor's going up, everything's going up and to help keep the cost down for you, the consumer, well, they're gonna do whatever they can to help save money. So I'm gonna give you the pros and cons today of push to connect fittings. Have I ever used them? Absolutely. We used them a few years ago. I was on a big commercial job. We had a water control box. And what that is, I was working at DFW Airport. If anybody actually cut a wrong line, hit a line, knocked something loose, caused a leak, we had water control boxes strategically located throughout the terminal. That way, if there was a problem, you didn't have to go far. Now, it had wet backs in it. It had tarps in it that had drains on it where you could literally pull up some bungee straps hang a tarp under a leak and it had a drain hose running it had a gondola nearby where you could catch water until you could resolve the issue now one big thing too is everybody in the building knew how to turn off the water we talked about it all the time but one cool thing that they had which I had never used before was push to connect fittings so I got used to them I figured out how to use them how not to use them now after I opened my own residential company well, a lot of the problem was we were finding a lot of leaks, but it was only with one particular brand of push to connect fittings. So today I'm gonna tell you the pros and the cons and why really you should have them on your truck. So first of all, number one pro, well, it saves time and money for the plumbers. And if you're a homeowner, it could you too. But here's the thing, if you're a plumber and you're trying to save your customer money, which a lot of people are trying to do, if you could literally just go in cut loose a piece of pop that maybe already has a leak in it, prep it, clean it, get it ready, and push it together. You don't have to pull out a torch. You don't have to clean it. You don't have to sand it. You don't have to do a lot of things that you have to do to get ready for that solder joint. And if you can save people labor, you can save people money. So if you're saving time as a plumber, what is that doing? That's getting you on jobs faster. That does a couple of things. It eliminates the possibility of you possibly losing that job to someone else because you couldn't get there fast enough. And if you can get all your jobs done quicker, now you can actually get more jobs done in each day. Now the neat thing that I've learned about quick fitting after going down and looking at it is they are very reliable when you install them properly. You've seen the video, we show you how they're made, how they're made different from the other brands, and we showed you the testing where they tested two or three times higher than the other brand push to connect fitting and tested even higher than press fittings. Now the next two are two of the biggest deals I think every plumber should have them on their truck. Number one, the price. They are priced lower than the other brand push to connect fittings out there and that's gonna make it where it makes sense on your labor. If you could save money on your fittings and get it done quicker, man, it all adds up to make sense. But there are cons, let's talk about them. First of all, there's really no skill required and, and to me, that, that is a con. You could call it a pro, but to be honest, Man, to me, that's a big con because now any homeowner, any apprentice, anybody thinks, look, I can just go out there, cut this loose, stick it together and not worry about it. There's still steps and procedures you've got to go through. So you do want to have some skill. You do want to understand how things go together, how they come apart and different things like that. So yes, no skills required. Some companies are going to look at that as a pro. I look at it as a con. Just like any other fitting out there poor installation could lead to a leak. You want to make sure you're doing everything right. If you've got a plumber or if you're one of those plumbers that you skip steps, this may not be the right fitting for you. You want to make sure you get the ends prepped just like they should be. That way you don't have any problems and you don't just create leaks, which is really what you're there trying to fix. Now there are some poor installation locations, meaning there's spots that I wouldn't put these in. I would not put them in a wall that is unaccessible. Now, 
If I've got them in a wall where I may want to change out the shower valve every few years or something, and I may want to put in an access panel, now that's accessible. I may not put it underground because then I've got to wrap it, then I've got to protect it. But you know what? Some people are doing that these days. Now that's a con, meaning there's spots you really shouldn't use these, but what about the spots you should use them? You know, that would make installing a water heater go so much faster. So there are some times, there are some places that this could really be a great deal. Now the next one is price. These are more than copper fittings, but you've got to understand that. You've got to know that. It's going to save you a lot of labor and there's a lot more to it than just a little bit of copper. This is a finely made brass fitting with stainless steel and O-rings and things like that inside. There's a lot more to it, but that's okay because if it can save you several minutes labor on every single fitting that you're putting in, those hours add up quickly. So really, what is the biggest reason to want to use push to connect fittings? Well, when you compare how long it takes to put a solder joint together, cutting, cleaning, fluxing, heating it up, soldering it, waiting for it to cool down, all that, compared to how long it takes to put a quick fitting together, cut it, clean it, mark it, press it. That's it. That doesn't take very long. And it eliminates a lot of the steps from making a solder joint. If you don't understand now how soldering compared to push connect fittings can change things, look guys, I think that these fittings are gonna be around a long time and you wanna make sure you're gonna use one that's not gonna leak on you in the future. So I told you to hang around. Remember, this video is sponsored by Quick Fitting. To find out more about it, go to quickfitting.com. But the number one reason, what about an emergency? If you have a leak, now you have a fitting that you can just press on. Maybe you can't get the water to stop. Maybe you need to change out a valve. Maybe there's something you need to do. But for emergency situations or you're doing construction and you need caps, one of my favorite things about quick fitting is the slide on release tool. It clips on the fitting, it slides right off. If you've got these in your van or truck, do me a favor and leave me a comment down below and let me know where your favorite spot is to put them. If you don't, well, maybe you should. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, helping you make more money in the trades.